friends. Welcome to another episode of That Sounds Fun. Are we in Legends Week or what? I'm your host, Annie F. Downs. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Before we dive into this conversation, I want to tell you about one of our incredible sponsors. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. October is the season for wearing masks and costumes, but some of us feel like we wear a mask and hide more often than we want to at work and social settings and relationship around our family. Therapy can help you learn to process and accept all parts of yourself so you can take off the mask. Because masks can be worn for Halloween fun, but not for our emotional life, you guys. So if you've been thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's done entirely online, so it's super convenient and flexible to your schedule. And getting started is so easy. You just fill out a quick questionnaire. We love a quiz around here. You'll be matched with a licensed therapist. Plus, you can switch therapists anytime at no extra cost to you. And that just makes sure that you have found the right match. Take off the mask with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash That Sounds Fun today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash That Sounds Fun. All right, today on the show, as we continue Legends Week, as we continue the week that we honor the music that started for us in the 90s, but is still blessing us today. Y'all are in for another treat because I get to talk with my friends, Michael Tate and Adam Agee from Newsboys. I love these dudes. I've wanted to have them on the show for a long time, so I cannot wait for you to hear this conversation. I know you recognize Michael Tate's name because Michael Tate was in DC Talk. Somebody call Eddie Koffeltz because you know how he feels about DC Talk. We are so honored to have them both on today. Part one of their latest album, World Ride Revival, is out right now, and part two comes out tomorrow with over 10 million records sold, you guys. I know you are no stranger to Newsboys or DC Talk. I think we can really learn something about faithfulness and obedience through these long careers in Christian music. I mean, what is the Lord teaching us this week about long obedience in the same direction? We are listening, Lord. So here is my conversation with my friends, Michael Tate and Adam Ag of Newsboys. You guys, welcome to That Sounds Fun. Hey, hey, what's up? I mean, newsboys are here at That Sounds Fun. That is beyond my um, what my little brain would have ever dreamed happened. So thank you for doing this. <laughs> hey, what's going down? I mean, Tate, listen, you don't know. You know we've been friends for years. You don't uh, know we've been friends since I was in like middle school. Okay, is that easy, your, Is easy. that your whole life, though? I hear it all the time. I'm sure. We'll, we'll be in airports. Adam and I and the band will be in airports. I could stop probably more than I should. And they're like, hey, um... You, you soundtrack to my life, or you yeah. with this. And I was like, it's always humbling, but it's also like, what the heck? Yeah. How did I get 58 years uh-huh. old? Uh huh. And you're still just like running so fast yeah. with the Lord. Yeah. yeah. You haven't quit. Key, keywords with the Lord. Yeah. Because what, what I'm seeing, and this is true in your life too, Adam. I mean, what one of the things is I've done my research before today, besides just being a person um, who's known y'all forever, you have ca- taken care of yourself and you have not walked away from the Lord. And both are required, like physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. So will both of y'all kind of talk about that a little bit? Talk about how that's been a part. How you? I mean, Adam, you've been in music for 25 years? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And 30? 30, 30 plus, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So talk a little bit about all the health you've chosen. All the health? Yeah, like the mental, emotional, physical, yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, my gosh, it's a, it's a book. It really could be a book. Um, I'm gonna write a book one day about uh, borrowing from Jesus freak. I'm gonna write a book before we were freaks, huh. <laughs> you know, before wow, we were freaks or, yeah. or, or freak incidents. But, yeah. but, but in reality, um, yeah, it hasn't always been roses. It hasn't always been, you know, on the up and up. I've had uh, my time, my shirt, my times are down for sure. Um, I have definitely walked with the Lord closer at times and not so close at times. Yeah. Bono once said, and I love it: every man or woman is either running towards God or from God. There's no huh. middle ground. Wow. And every time I've been running from God. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather run towards him because running from him, uh, the hand of God, um, you don't want to fall in the hands of an angry God. Yeah. You know, and God has a way of getting your attention. But um, I've had my moments for sure. I, I lived in L.A. for, oh, just a few years working with Ben Moody from Evanescence. Yeah. Band. And uh, and uh, I went out there really to pursue, you know, after D.C. Talk took a break in 2000, yeah. 2001, intermission, which never uh, really <laughs> came to fruition yeah. uh, or came back around. Uh, who knows what might happen on the road. But that aside, uh, I often say in L.A., if you don't choose a side, a side will choose you, Annie. Huh. And that's a fact. And um, wow. uh, I got out there and got in some of the crazy circles and musician circles and actor circles and and um, social circles. And 
you start letting things slip, and you know you might go out with this this, this group one night, and you find yourself in situations that's that's questionable, and you kind of go, "Oh no, I shouldn't." But I guess well, just you know, one little sip, so to speak, yeah, you know, whatever sure. it is. Yeah. And before you know it, you know, it's a downward spiral. So yeah. those are the times in my life where I look back and I go, of course, on the physical side, I go, "What would my mom and dad say?" Mm. You know, before you mention God or your friends, you know. You know, before God, you go, what would my friends think? What, what, what would Toby and Kevin say? What would, yeah. you know, Adam, AJ, my best buddies, and, and yeah. newsboys, et cetera. And then all of a sudden you kind of go, but more importantly, not to be so trite, but what would Jesus say? The yeah. guy that only, yeah. the only person that matters, yeah. you know? And I found myself in this place where I, I, I could choose depression and sit back and go, well, I failed, which I did on a physical level in certain, certain things mm-hmm. with, like, with, with what my plans were to go out there and do. And my agenda uh, didn't, reach, didn't reach the goal. Didn't, it didn't happen. But looking back now, it was God. Thank you, Lord, because you saved me in those moments. Because wow. I would definitely not be here today if I stayed in some of those circles, hung with some of those people, been influenced deeper on in some of those uh, roads I walked on, avenues I walked down. It'd be another story right now, Andy Downs. Wow. That's just so I think. So many of us, uh, I'm 44, so many of us in this age bracket, a lot of us love to hear this because there is a story that there isn't another side when you have questions yes. or there isn't another side when you have struggles and you're like, no, listen, just keep going. Yeah. Just walk to the other side and Jesus is there on the other side of yeah. the hard stuff too. Adam, talk about your journey a little bit about that. Like, How have you seen... When you've had the hard seasons, like Tay's talking about, when you've had those questions, and yet here you sit 20 years into doing ministry <laughs> just about full-time, it, whether you'd have called it that or not, and you're still walking with the Lord, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was – for me, it was in college. Um, I I was going to go go to college and play basketball, and I'd played sports all growing up and just kept getting hurt. Uh, and so I picked up a guitar when I was 19 for the first time ever mm. and started singing and playing – and it was just one of those things. I picked it up super quick, started playing in church, Amazing. started playing, yeah. uh, you know, in our youth group or whatever. And it just, I'd, I'd grown up as a as a preacher's kid, so I was in church every time the doors were open. But that was really the first time that I felt like, okay, I have a choice right here now. I was 19 years old. I have a choice to make my faith my own and to give this gift right back to God that he's given yeah. me. It was an obvious thing. Like I, it was obvious that he had given me an ability to pick up guitar real quick. I had first time really singing other than just like a couple, you know, little choir things in church here and there, <laughs> nothing really. And then all of a sudden I'm singing and writing songs and playing guitar. And then we start a band. Oh my gosh. Both of y'all wrote so many of the songs on this album. I went and looked, I was like, Oh, y'all both wrote on yeah. every, one of you wrote on every song. Yeah. 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 We figured we might as well. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I, uh, <Come> on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I I started playing playing music and I made a conscious decision. I was like, I'm just going to I'm going to use this for what God wants me to use it mm-hmm. for. And as a as a 19-year-old kid, like cuz I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to write music about my life, my family, my friends and I'm and about my faith. And cuz it's it was just a part of who I who I am, who I was. And the journey has been pretty wild. I mean, we had our punk rock band that lasted for yeah. almost 15 years, which is unheard of. That's long which long. our literal, one of our teammates came over I in know. the shirt that Haley, she's had she's since awesome. 2009. She was a super fan. Yeah. And <laughs> she apparently only, still is. The joy still... of her is she only does things at that level. I love that. She only loves that hard everything she loves. She only loves about eight things. Like, she doesn't yeah. do that about everything, well, but y'all were one of the I'm, things. I'm honored to be one of those That's eight things. That's so fun. Yeah, because you knew her as soon as you saw her. Absolutely. Yeah. She's fantastic. Yeah. She was the the best fan, like yeah, the best, the best. I bet. Um, but yeah, we did our we did our thing, and and <clears throat> as a as a punk rock band, we did, we never made any money, and so <laughs> we just didn't. We were just so poor, and the opposite. We were in debt. We didn't make any money. We just made debt, yeah. and so uh, as we started growing up and having kids, and uh, just life things priorities changed, and so I was like, I can't. I can't keep doing this yeah. if I'm going to provide for my family. And so I was basically... And were you living here at the time? Were you yeah, already in Nashville? Yeah, okay. yeah. And so I was just like, we got we to... Gotta, I got to give it up. I got to go get a real job. Yeah. yeah. And then as I'm doing that, it's like Audio Adrenaline calls me and they're like, Mark Stewart's like, hey, we want you to sing, write a record. We're raising money for the Hands and Feet Project down in Haiti. And I was like... Well, okay, God, I guess I'll keep going. Yeah. Uh, wow. And then, you know, we did that for a couple years, and then that kind of ran its course, and we weren't going to really tour much anymore. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just going to go back and get a 
get a real job, and then somehow, some way, you know, God kind of brought me back. It's a wild story. It's a long story. I guess I'm I can tell. It, yeah. Okay. So we were we were going to do this tour in. 2017, I believe, is mm-hmm. uh, Big Church Night Out. It's big Church Night Out, yeah. And, and so, it was going to be Newsboys and audio? It, no, it was just no, Newsboys. Just Audio's done at this okay. point. And I'm just like... Adam Solo. I'm solo. I've had some songs <laughs> that I wanted to release as a little EP, but it doesn't matter. It's because it's Newsboys tour, and it's a bunch of other artists, and I'm not playing music at all. I'm going out, and I am setting up the table for the child sponsorship oh, okay. on the tour. So I'm not playing any music. You're literally just working for the nonprofit. Just working for the nonprofit. Right. And I'm like, because that, that's all I had at the moment. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll just do that while I yeah. figure out what Reboot. other job I'm going to yeah. do. And so I go, I'm getting ready to do it. And like a couple of weeks before, uh, it was Roy Morgan who was running the tour with Premier back at the time. Yeah. He uh, He's like, why is Adam on this tour and not singing? Mm. And so he's like, why don't you just do an opening song to to open up the, the I, night? I, so I, was, I was this like, awesome, oh, Adam. I know. Yeah. This is, you don't even know me. You don't know and this so, story, Tate. I know. Well, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's crazy because he's like, why don't you just do an opening song? Okay, I'll do an opening song. And then. You know, a week goes by. He's like, hey, uh, wh- uh, why don't you just host? Can you just host the night? We need like an MC maybe to kind of talk in between bands and stuff. I'm like, okay, I can I can do that. Um, and he's like, well, do you have any other – because we, we've got a ministry moment in, this, in the section. Do you have something you could talk about? I'm like, yeah, we, we build houses in Mexico. I could, you know, sing that thing you do – or uh, sing – not thing you do, but sing How Great Is Our God in Spanish if you want. Yeah. Do like a cool moment. He's like, yeah, do that. Okay. And so I wind up doing that and then – I'm I'm doing that on the tour, doing a couple of songs, plus doing all the the table repping, and then uh, the speaker had to go off the road. Like he had a uh, issue at That's home right. for the nonprofit. For the nonprofit, and so I jump in and I'm speaking on <laughs> so behalf of the nonprofit. So now you're doing the pitch. You're doing. <laughs> I'm emceeing. I'm doing two songs. I'm on stage for more time than any of the artists. You're like the Jimmy Fallon <laughs> yeah, of the exactly. show. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And so, and I'm just kind of this is wild. And so I wind up just finishing out the tour. Um, doing all those things, and then the rest is history. I did a couple more tours with Newsboys, mm-hmm. speaking, and just kind of opening up the show. Yeah. And then I guess the apprenticeship was over a couple years ago, and they decided to add me into the band. So I'm what still, an addition. What I'm an still here. I mean, it's such a wild – I do need you all to explain to all of us. Tate, you were in DC Talk, and <laughs> I was – when I was a high schooler, I was listening to DC Talk and Newsboys. And and now you're in Newsboys. I need y'all to explain Newsboys to us because the guys I saw doing Newsboys are not who we would go see today. Well, well you, three turns guys. out three of them. You, the guys, three of them. Yeah. The other three. Jeff the and Jody and, and Duncan to. have been. No, they don't. Well, they that's don't why speak. they're still around. That's, yeah, they they're like, we don't need this part. So. Okay, so the other three guys were 30 in 30 plus it. years. They've yes. been in there over 30 years. Yeah. 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 Okay, so explain how you got in there then. I got a call after my L.A. debacle. Yeah. I come home, tail between my leg. Really not sure what I wanted to do. Uh, my mom was still alive at the time in D.C., and I, own, I, I owned our family home in D.C., so yeah. I took on the house. I go to D.C., I'm laying on the couch one night, I went to a movie with my niece, came home, my mom goes, some, some Australian guy called you, um, I asked you to call him back. I looked at huh. my phone, my, my uh, message, it was from Wes Campbell. Uh-huh. I hadn't seen Wes in 25 plus years, yeah. as far as, you know, as far as I hung out with him, since Toby and I, you know, and Kevin came to down for D.C. Talk, for Newsboys, over D.C. Talk, we toured together in 19... 19- 90. Yeah. Newsboys open for DC Talk. Yeah. So I call him back. Hey, how's it going? What's up? What are you up to? Da, 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 you know? He says, Peter Fuller's taking a sabbatical. Can you do a few months in the, you know, as lead singer? And I thought, that's really weird. It had to be God. Yeah. I'm like, and looking back now, I'll jump ahead real quick. There's no way. It, it, Peter Fuller, he didn't tell me at the time he wouldn't overwhelm me, but Peter was leaving because yeah. he was just like, he was worn out. He, yeah. Uh, you know, 20 plus years. Yeah. You know, 25 records. The guy was just worn out. Yeah. He just wanted, wanted to come off the road. So I got told that about six months into my... my, my, my the sabbatical my, fill-in. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, long story boring, it just worked out. And, yeah. and it, and, you know, I needed them in my life for lots of reasons, and they needed me. And what a great match. Yes. Yeah, but... It know, is. Yeah, who knew that, you know, I would ever be the lead singer of this band... We were such we were such frenemies back in the day. Yeah, tell me that's what I want. Yes, talk talk to me about that. Talk to me about yeah. the feeling of being. Oh yeah, Michael Tate from DC Talk, and now Michael Tate from Newsboys. Well, Newsboys, I'll, I'll say this now because I can say I can say it from this perspective. They were always like on our heels, like coming out. Like we, we, we they go gold, we go platinum. Uh huh. Uh-huh. We had a shirt that said "Yo," they had a shirt that said "Oi." Oh yeah, I. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they copied us. Facts, uh-huh, uh-huh. facts. <laughs> but I will say as much. Years ago, I don't know if Adam knows this story, but um, 
Wes Campbell took a photo of us on the road. It was me acting like I was the lead singer of the band in 1991, maybe. That's wow. crazy. Like I, said, I did we, not know that. And, and there's a picture. Yeah. Of me, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the guy. And Peter's on drums. Yeah. And God works in mysterious and mischievous ways yeah. because jump ahead. Two and a half decades, and here I am. Man, what a beautiful God works in mischievous ways. That is a much more fun, <laughs> and that is the truth of it's that truth, guy. Right? I like, mean, like God must he must love being God. Uh, right. Good, good job, God. Right. Like it's like, come on, bro. Like it's just funny. <laughs> I know. Hi. I, I mean, even thinking about us being on that same flight two years ago, yeah. and being like, come on, the po-. people say to me all the time, certain people they want on the podcast, including y'all. And what I can't say is like, I know we've been trying to sort this out since yeah. November of twenty two. <laughs> yeah. There, there are people in the pipeline they're all coming what are we august 24 but, almost two years yeah so. almost two I, years that's I, I great <laughs> that's my that, we try to get in less than two years that's yeah, the goal that's the goal um okay i want to know what y'all see out on the road because newsboys tours all the time yeah we do. y'all are touring a ton yeah what do you see out on the road that god is doing that i'm not seeing just being and i, I live here and i live part-time in new york and so i want to know what y'all are seeing across the country what are people saying at shows what are they responding to what are you hearing about what god's doing yeah adam Angie, what do you hear? well i think part of the reason that we titled our new album worldwide revival is mm-hmm. because that is what we get to see we get a front row seat to all these little revivals that are cropping up in different yeah. communities and yeah. so we get to we hear about them and then it's we true. get to go talk with some of these pastors and some of these people that are just involved in these get togethers yeah. in, in, in these places that we tour and and so we we feel like our job is to help you know either spark a revival everywhere we go or help Stoke fan the flame fire, of man, what's yeah. going on yeah. yeah and so that's been cool to get a front row seat to some of that and then also we get to see the, the coolest thing i think is when we meet people after the show or whatever, we get to see generations yeah, at our shows. I bet you do. Where it's like a grandma was like, Newsboys was my first concert. Yes. And I brought my daughter. And now yes. my daughter son. has yes. a kid. Yeah. And, yes. and this is their first Newsboys concert. And Crazy. their first concert is Newsboys. It's just like, this is, it's cool that all all those generations can connect with the music on some level, some songs, like whatever stylistically or anything, but it's yeah. the message is the same, but it's just, it's really cool to see generations coming to Does shows. Does it feel different than what you saw 20 years ago? Well, yeah. I mean, our, our, uh, our, our audience was like 14 to 16 year old girls. And yeah. so it was really, yeah. it was really different. It was yeah. fun. It yeah. was, but uh, we didn't really have as many, as many parents. And that's the wild thing about newsboys is just like, the age range is just yeah. everybody. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. and it's it's unlike anything I've ever seen touring. Wow, what do you what do you see in Tate? What do you see God doing different now than when you were opening for Newsboys in 1990? I see a spark and an uptick in uh, the youth as far as their commitment. Wow, I would say there's as many as there were back in my day, but the ones that are here are here and they're on I mean, fire. They came to play exactly ball, right. yeah, and they're not messing around. It's no 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 half step, and it's like you know, yeah. Meet what do you call it? Um, it's not hot. It's, it's not um, lukewarm. It's like hot yeah. or cold. Yeah. And hope, thank yeah. God they're hot at our concert. Yes. Come and fire it up. And then also too, um, the message that we share has never changed. Yeah. But the method changes. Oh, okay. And we definitely have tried to be. People say, "How come this voice is still around? How come you guys in thirty? How long are you gonna be around for?" I go, "Well, how long are the Stones gonna be around for?" Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, as long as you keep showing up to work, showing yeah. up hungry, showing yeah. up faithful, showing up diligent. Yeah. God's going to keep using this thing, you know, and yeah. um, they're nice. We have massive crowds. They're nice. The crowds aren't as massive. Yeah. But with age and with, you know, of course, uh, hopefully um, spiritual maturity, you realize, hey, it's just all part of the game, part of the process. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. Yeah. What are you putting out to the people? We tour the podcast sometimes. And um, on my last run, our promoter uh, that was with us every day at lunch would say, I want you to switch now. Every day he said it. I want you to switch now from trying to get people in seats and switch to serving the people who are going to be in the seats. That's good. And that was such a gift to me, Give right? Me some of that. It was it was Uncle C. He did it for us. It was such a gift for me when Uncle C would say it because he would it, it did that thing of like, okay, it actually doesn't matter how many people are out there now. I'm supposed to serve everyone who is out there mm-hmm. and the size where I can be trapped in the we all well, can, well, y'all got, and y'all got to look at the money too. It's a money. I mean, we got to get people in the room because we're pay, we want to pay everybody well who's traveling yeah. with us and all the things. And and so that as the headliners, y'all and I, in that you have that moment of like, I've got to know things, and then you go, and also the Lord. Yes, we'll put people in seats, and therefore, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm I've been so interested to thinking about who 
who you see now. I mean, the generations thing has got to be so unique. That's crazy. Because yeah. they've loved both of y'all. I mean, Haley is a perfect mm-hmm. example. And they've loved the work you've done for 30 years of their lives. Yeah. That is that is wild. Do you think that generation behind us thinks of God differently than we did when we were listening to DC Talk and Jesus Freak? And do they think about God differently? Is he still... He was so a part of my culture. Yeah. I think, I mean, there's obviously just time tra- time passes on. The, every generation has their own little thing and, 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 and there's just stick for whatever it is. Yeah. But I think a guy to go to for this question is probably Adam Ager, who has a teenager. I do. I oh, there you go. I have a 17-year-old daughter. Yeah. And I think, I think that, that kids nowadays have so much access to information not from their parents and not from their church or uh-huh. their school. And that's, I mean— the one or two news right. channels that we had and right. church Literally. and school and parents. Yeah. That's where we got 99% of our info. I did not know what my friends did in the summer until it was in the year, but no. the next no. year. Exactly. No. Yeah, we just did not know. Now you know what happens no. in Africa. Now, right. The well, day of, right. Now you're connected to everybody across the globe. Yeah. And you are inundated with info from every different walk of life and yeah. every possible outcome. Yeah. Ooh. And so you see all this stuff and you have to choose early. Like- Am I going to believe this stuff that my parents told me growing up? Yeah. Is it real? Or do I want to go chase this, 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 this? Because it's all right there. And you yeah. can just, you can go down the rabbit and hole. My parents are old and removed, but this, this girl's 17 like me and she lives in Europe and she knows better than sure. my dad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. All kids. I mean, yeah. we did when we were young. Yeah. Like, we just our didn't parents have didn't it. know anything. That's and right. it's like, whatever. It's, I get it. I, yeah, I probably don't compared to what she knows now. But like, yeah, I think they just have, they have the access and, the the information that they have is just crazy. I think they grow up so much faster yeah. that, you know, they're dealing with stuff whenever like my son's eleven and he's dealing with stuff that I didn't deal with until I got to high school. And yeah. it's just That's crazy. I don't know. They they just have to they have to grow up quicker and so they but what it does, like you said earlier, is it it does create that just absolute necessity to have it Mm -hmm. you know if they want it Mm -hmm. they are on fire 100 percent. you Mm -hmm. see it in some of these movements with some of these younger artists and some of the the you know young kids that are just on fire 100 percent. and i think the other there are a lot of kids that that are trying a bunch of different stuff and they will eventually find out that it doesn't satisfy and it doesn't work and everybody's on their own journey and so sometimes you know you hope that your kids figure it out sooner than later yeah but yes, uh, you know some kids some kids gotta they gotta fall before they can fly and yeah. that's just that's just the way it is hey friends just interrupting this conversation and tell you about one of our incredible partners Haya health in a season where everyone's handing out candy, let's make sure my mini BFFs aren't getting candy when they take their vitamins. So many kids' vitamins are filled with five grams of sugar and can contribute to a variety of health issues. So we love Haya Health because it's the pediatrician-approved chewable vitamin that is made with zero sugar and zero gummy junk. Haya is designed for kids two and up and sent straight to your door so you have one less thing to worry about. It also comes in these really cute glass bottles that are reusable and your kids get to decorate them with stickers. And right now their bottles are available in Barbie Pink with a limited edition Barbie unboxing experience that comes with a Barbie bottle and Barbie stickers. That is adorable. We've worked out a special deal with Haya for their best-selling children's vitamin. You get 50% off your first order. To claim this deal, you must go to HayaHealth.com slash That Sounds Fun. Go to H-I-Y-A-H-E-A-L-T-H dot com slash That Sounds Fun and get your kids the full body nourishment they need to grow into healthy adults. Okay, now back to our conversation with Tate and Adam. How does having music that is faith music matter in a home and in a family? Because I'm I don't have kids, so but I was one. But talk about how that matters in your family that there is music like y'all's. There's so much good Christian music right now. Yeah, that's I, not cheesy. Well, that's that's part of what going back to even what I said earlier about giving my music to God uh, and my wife. We've been married for 23 years, and so she. Just every every step along the way was like just just make music that our kids can listen to. Oh wow! You know, and and not in a demanding way, but just in a this is what yeah. we should yes. be called to yes. do. Like, yes, yes. Don't go writing stuff that's if if your kids can't listen to it, then what are what are you doing? Like, what yeah. are you chasing? Wow, that's a great uh, help. In yeah, the, in yeah. the making. 
And so it doesn't necessarily 100% have to be like Bible verses made into music, but it can be just <laughs> something that is like something that's going to point them in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think having you know a personal catalog yeah. of 100 plus songs that they yeah. can listen to and they think it's kind of cool cuz they cuz dad's sure. made the music so yeah. that's two ways that's about cool it. Yeah. and you know like my son's got all the or both of them actually have all the new album on their playlists and yeah. everything so that's cool yeah um, but yeah i think we, from from the minute we started like our, one of our things that we said was we want to make great music but there's so much music out there that the lyrics are degrading and yeah. just mm-hmm. depressing and they not they, uplifting the, it's just they just whatever you fill your head with is what's going to come out and so yeah. we wanted ours to be positive uplifting and then hopefully point people to the king yeah what do you i'd love for you both to answer this what do you know about god now that you didn't know you know when you were starting your music career what do you know about him after working for him traveling around and seeing what he's doing what do you know about him now that you didn't know when you started? That he really, truly loves Michael Dwayne Tate. <laughs> and all of my countless chief of center yeah. uh, baggage. Yeah. Mm. He does. It's like, that's the part. Because when you go through, uh, as you get older, you go through life, you have moments where you weren't so as shiny as people thought you yeah, of course. were and are and should be because a believer you are. That's right. Public Christian props. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, you kind of go, well, right now I don't like me. And you know what? I bet God don't like me that much. Mm. And then you realize, when you look back, we actually stop the mat, slow down and go, he's crazy about you. That's why you're still here. Bible. Um, going forward. Yeah. Like, the list goes on. I go, you look back, you just see all the times. Yeah. He's brought you through stuff and carried you through. It's like... Oh my gosh! And then the, the 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 light comes on, and you just break down with like, if I only knew then, yeah, mm-hmm. what I know now, yeah, my gosh, epiphany, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say just the, the level of trust as with with any real relationship, but especially spiritually, the level of trust is just, just so infinitely farther along and much more than it than it was at the beginning yeah. you know because you want you're like i trust god and you're like yeah. well i haven't really gone through anything to where yeah. i had to actually yeah. you know 100 percent trust him and yes. put it all out there yes. and I, and <laughs> you know being you know, 44 as well and and gone through all these different iterations of playing music and whatever uh i've had to trust him with whatever happens yeah and oh my gosh all those ups and downs for both of you to be like this is over now i'm in this yeah. this is yeah. over now i do this i mean that you'd have to okay god yeah and he's just he's just he just proves it over and over again yeah, he's like right. i got you whether you're good or bad i got you that's yeah right. yeah oh, that's yeah. good yeah because both of you and both the stories you've told today have these really profound endings huh. that were not endings no and so what yeah, a yeah, what a gift say. to remind us all that that endings may not be endings. I mean you had to like which by the way you did kind of say who knows what happens in the future with DC Talk? Yeah. Is that a true thing who knows what might happen? <laughs> Good lord. Another you just cruise can't know. hopefully. Oh, that <laughs> No, we're done with cruises. That much, we're done with cruises, I yeah, think. Yeah. 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 Has good. Newsboys done a cruise? No, but we're we're wanting to. Yeah. Okay. So the new album Yes. It is for starters. I listened to it yesterday. I listened to it today. It is very good. Oh, thank, thank you. It is very good. I I, I told you, I looked up who was writing them because I was like, who is, I mean, my question was, who's writing this depth? Yeah. I mean, Newsboys has always been very good. So this isn't a them, you, whatever. Yeah. This is a deep album. Yeah. Will you talk a little bit? And it's part one, so there's coming a part two? Yes, That's right. Yes. Okay, great. So part one we can listen to on, I mean, I listened on Spotify today. But will you talk a little bit about, what's the theme here? I have some guesses of what the theme here is on Worldwide Revival. Is there a theme I don't know? What What are y'all doing writing all these songs together? Well, I mean, I actually, we just get in the room with great writers, and then we just put our names on it. So yeah. 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 <laughs> You no. were with some great other writers, too, we were, for yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah. I mean, that's that was the that's the good thing about being in newsboys is yeah. you get to write with the best of the best. Yeah. But um you know what's funny is I mean, we we started out with a song called Heaven on Earth. Yeah. Um and uh a little template there. Penned by the uh, Daniel, Bastia. Daniel Bastia, who uh, wrote God's Not Dead. Yes. yes, yes. And he used so, to be my worship pastor at my church yeah. 20 years ago yeah, and yeah. married to Georgia. 
So yeah, cool, yeah. cool connection to kind of to to kind Pulled of get hand. things kicked off. Yep. Um, and it's just inspired by this this Billy Graham like quote where he he's he talks about how you can experience heaven on earth here and now mm-hmm. if you put your faith in Jesus. Yeah, you don't have to wait till eternal life. Yes. yes, and so we started writing a bunch of songs just to write great songs. We we didn't really have a full theme in mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so we wrote. 50 songs at for least, this album? At least. You are lying. No, totally. So far we've got 10? Uh, eight, eight, yeah. Months, so, yeah. yeah. Sorry, so bad there's, math, bad yeah, math, So guys. there's <laughs> a lot that you will never hear. But um, <laughs> we started writing, and this this theme of, it, it's kind of like heaven on earth. It's like this, this we don't have to wait. We want to experience yes. this now. That's how it feels. Yeah. It feels like justice, peace, together. Yes. I mean, it just feels like a real, like, the world could be better album. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so we want to bring heaven to earth right now. And we want that to feed into everything that we're writing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything through that lens. Yeah. Um, and so then you get into Worldwide Revival and it's this, like you said, Tate's like, I want something to say we, revival starts at home. Yeah. yeah. And so in the bridge it says, start it in our yes. homes. Yes. Yeah. I thought that was really profound. And so going from our homes to across the street, to our neighborhoods, to our state, to our nation, to our world. To across yeah. the globe. It's, yeah. it's like this is this is where it begins and the message is is still heaven on earth. Like that yeah. is still that's still the message going yeah. through this revival. And then, you know, like how many times is the oh. the song that you oh, were just basically so talking about exactly about that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the, the, that song hugs you and loves you because it, absolutely it says, does. you know what? It's, it's almost if God says to you and, and, and to me in my times where I'm like, God, I've really screwed up this time. And he goes, Tate, how many times have I told you to forgive your brother? How many times have I? Well, I love you endlessly. Am I proud when you mess when you do stupid stuff? No. Does it break my heart? Yes. But baby, I love you. You're yeah. mine. I made yeah. you in my image. Think about that. Yeah. You matter to me. Yeah. So the record hits this this vertical thing with songs like Heaven on Earth and, you know, this worship kind of but there's also songs that are very like tangible horse yes. like living life yes. on the planet. Yes. As my grandma would say, sometimes you're so heavenly minded you're not earthly good. Yeah. So you won't just be <laughs> you won't be just all heavenly minded. You gotta keep it <laughs> gotta, right. the cross is you know is vertical and horizontal. Yes. So songs like how many times? Songs like color yeah. talk about, you know, the human condition and, and, and the issues surrounding the human condition. Yeah. And uh the record once again, that's the beauty of having Adam in the band. It brought another whole th- uh, thought side to the writing process too, because there's another brain in the band, newsboys who are in the cockpit. Yeah, you know? All the yeah. other people come along. You know, they're part of the. Th- but we're like, we, we we have to fly the plane. Yeah. So what do we what do we, what do we what do we want to say? And what are we saying? It that I'm glad that that's what y'all hear when you hear your own album too, because that was my experience when I listened. I just thought, oh, this whole thing is telling me, um, at the heaven on earth is the right language. The whole thing is saying like. That is what God has. That's what Jesus taught us to pray mm-hmm. for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that we actually have some agency in it being better here. Yes. And I thought, man, what a you know, as we are walking toward an election, as we are doing Ooh. all in the U.S., it just feels like this is kind of an album that's like, we can do this. Mm-hmm. We can do this. Well, mm-hmm. we yeah, can do and this. and the the election thing is is a kind of a funny thing too because we we have a song on there called In God We Trust. Yes, yeah. we, yes, you do. I and was like, is this about to be political? <laughs> this album? Yeah, yeah. And you think that as soon as you see the title, you're like, uh oh, here it comes. Yeah. But it's actually not. It's not a political song at wow. all. But um, a funny story about writing that one is we we got the script for the new God's Not Dead movie. Yeah. Um, a year ago, and so I remember. I remember vividly. I'm I'm in the the Toyota dealership waiting for my the car to get its oil change <laughs> and i'm like reading this script and i'm like okay so i just make a bunch of notes in my f- yeah. in my phone about like okay this could be a song and they asked yeah. us to write a song for the movie yeah and i was like this could be it this could be it this could be it and so then fast forward a couple months we bring in uh, our buddy paul duncan from la yeah. and uh we're in the studio with colby we're like okay let's sit down and write a song you know maybe for this movie what do you think and i always ask the other writers like what 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 ideas do you have? Do you have anything? Right. Yeah, did you come with anything? Because they're, right? yeah. they're actually good at what they do. And so, <laughs> so um, are you. I'm Turns like, out. <laughs> I'm like, what do you got? And so Paul's like, well, I don't know if it'll work, but I've been kicking around this idea of in God we trust. And I just kind of laughed and I pulled out my phone. I showed him the very first note that I had made uh-huh. and it said, in God we trust. 
And And so I said, well, let's write that one. Yeah. And so so we did. They wound up calling the movie uh, God's Not Dead and God We Trust. trust, uh, You named a movie. Let's go. (laughs) In in many ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, Tell that to the guy who thought he was just going to be the compassion rep or whatever. You know, (laughs) (laughs) now you're naming movies. You never know, man. You never know. But yeah, I mean, it just, it turned out, and we were very careful because with a phrase like that, that has been... Uh, kind of morphed into something that mm-hmm. maybe championed by a lot of people. Maybe yeah, it doesn't yeah. necessarily yeah. mean that, but we just yeah. wanted to get to the roots of what does that actually mean? Yeah. Uh, and it means that we put wholly and 100% our faith in God. You yeah. can't put it in people. You can't mm-hmm. put it in candidates. That's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can't put it in, in anything that is, you know, of this world. Yeah. And so if our faith is 100% in God, then at least we have a fighting chance. I love that that one starts out when we don't trust in horses. We don't trust. Yeah. I mean, it, yep. in, in kings and kingdoms. Yep. And I, I, at a church on Sunday, we sang that old hymn, Jesus, Jesus, yeah. Jesus. And it says, kings and kingdoms will all well, uh, pass away. Well, there's something about that name. Yeah. But you know what part Jesus, we don't want to talk Jesus. about is kingdoms passing away. Yeah. No, that's, that, that's uncomfortable. No. And that's scary. But and, and so I had that moment. I was saying, I was like, oh, I've sang this my whole life. And I've never thought about like, oh, what I'm actually saying is what makes me comfortable in my government and country could pass away. Yeah. yeah. And now back to finish up our conversation with Tate and Adam. That sounds fun. Artistically, what makes you enjoy the movies and like being a part of the movie side and the music side? Well, yeah, not, tell her about your acting the first yes. time you did it. I was oh. say it's not about the acting because that is not uh, that's <laughs> not, not my gift either. Not my gift not either. My yeah, gift. But, but uh, Adam, I'm very good about... at being me. I'm not very good at being anybody else. Yeah. Apparently, Adam talked about we were, we were laughing the first time ten years ago. We were filming uh, God's Not Dead Part One. Didn't yeah. know what it was going to do. Ended up being like number three movie in the country, yeah. which is mind blowing. Yeah. And uh, that's before Christian movies really started taking off, like yeah, on, a, on, a, right. on, a, on a wider scale. But uh, the day we got to the uh, the shoot, I think it was I think it was in, te- in Texas, and we were exhausted. We had a, yeah. you know our usual newsboys four day weekend right. at the end of a, at the end of a long tour. We're worn out. We thought we were going to pop in there, do some little cheesy Christian thing, whatever, and have a couple you know handheld cams yeah, and sure. No, it was a, Annie. It was a full-on freaking movie set. Wow! Like cameras, yeah. makeup people, wardrobe <laughs> people, like probably a hundred people in the building. And yeah. you, had, you had been given a script full of lines. Give, right? Given a script. I'm getting there. <laughs> 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 given a script, most like your script. You're having fun either, uh-huh, Annie. Uh-huh. We had not. We had. We had. And looked at that script no more than you looked at that script. No. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't know one word of that script. So and we, they were just ready to go. Ready and you're to go. like, I don't know my lines. We're torn, worn out, trying to hide hey. our bags with this under eyes. Get there and they go, they say, they say, <laughs> action. We're like, we're not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> so we we had we had to like we looked at the line, got the idea of it, and yeah. we paraphrased from there. Yeah. And the prayer, yeah. I pray, thank God. But they had a script for the prayer, but I just yeah. prayed, prayer off the cuff. Yes, I can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. praying, but 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 acting it out, no, nah, yeah. we we're already. Yeah, I, I think Duncan got this probably the quickest. Yeah, me, Jeff, and Jody were. Yeah, Duncan. Duncan did a good job. Jeff did a good job. Yeah, did really did God not dead get you on an IMDb, or did you already have one? Um, I think it's Newsboys on there. Pretty much. So, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got to tell you, my history with the song God's Not Dead is because Daniel was our worship leader. We were singing that song at youth camp. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. It was like, like one of lion. the like, yeah, Isn't like a lion. Funny? Yeah. I mean, so we like were singing lion, yeah. that when we were, you know, easily early 2000, like mm-hmm. 2003, four, five, right yeah. back then. And then all of a sudden, we're, oh, everyone in the actual world knows this song now. <laughs> and this was like <laughs> cool. our local guy's song he had written. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's really cool to see. I tease Daniel all the time about how we send his kids to college. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome, I think Daniel. you're sending his grandkids to college. Yeah. So I you're think, welcome, Daniel. Yeah. I think I think you've done a Gosh. fair thing there. Yeah. yeah awesome. No kidding. I just think it's amazing. Or do you ever get tired of singing some of the older stuff? Uh I mean certain songs, yeah, but honestly, yeah. why do we believe in God's not dead? I've never gotten tired of singing really. Yeah. Tate's favorite songs are some of the really old ones that Peter sang. Yeah, really. <laughs> Nope, that's a lie. You're lying. That's no, why no. he brought me into the band. No. <laughs> He's like, here's the ones you're going to handle. No, no. <laughs> Adam is a fresh breath, a breath of fresh air for sure, but I still enjoy He Reigns. I still enjoy. Yeah. You like something um, beautiful. Something beautiful. Yeah. Something beautiful, yeah, for oh, sure. I yeah. love that one, yeah. yeah. But Peter's song is so quirky. Yeah. Which ones are you singing? Yeah, Adam. Well, we, <laughs> there's a question. We do a little throwback moment. We play like 20. 
four or five songs a night. A night. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Four nights in a row. And so we do a little throwback section where we do some acoustic versions of like Shine. Uh, we do In the Light. In the Light. From another band. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> from another band. Yeah. 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 Y'all, y'all bring it all in. Yeah. Yeah. We just we just that. Just added a. We do uh, take oh, me to your leader. Uh, take me to your leader. <gasps> really? Breakfast. Take me to your leader. Son. Oh, yeah. breakfast. <laughs> totally. Oh, come yeah. on. So and then like it is you yeah. and yeah. amazing love. So we do we wow. do quite a few of the old ones and yeah we. That's great. <laughs> that that That's way those grandmas in there who are, like that was their first show or getting to hear that and the moms and dads. Yeah. And that's a treat. Oh, yeah. It is cool because Jeff kind of sets it up like talking about how yeah. the three guys have been in the band for thirty yeah. years and people yeah. don't realize that people. I mean, 30 People think that, like, they still think Newsboys is like a revolving door, and it's... Because Lee Singer changed so much. It's really not, though. Like, it's just, you know, Tate's been there for 15 15 years. years. 15 years? Yeah. Hi, cameras. Yeah. (laughs) 15 years. Like, who does anything for 15 years? That's a long time. That's half the existence of the band. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That is, that's eye-opening. Uh, yeah, that and, is amazing. And then the other guys being in there for over thirty years—it's yeah. like people yeah. don't understand the longevity of that, and it's it's really cool to get to share that with everybody yeah. each mm-hmm. night. I mean, Tate, I, that is wild because I would think people assume you've been in DC Talk for sixty-five years and Newsboys for two. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's that's not even close to the math. No. It was probably closer to even Stevens at this point. Yeah. I'm even surprised at DC Talk. Toby and I were laughing a, a few months back about how we lasted 10 years because we were such, it was like three dog night, the band. Uh, Kevin Max, Toby Mac, Michael Tate. Yeah. It's like all just so driven in our own little ways. Yeah. The, coming together was tough at times. Yeah. That's, that's now public knowledge that you know, we don't always sure. get along. Sure. And, it's, and you know what? It's called being human. So I was we're about to say, what band or workplace does? Exactly. None. Yeah, we have, Absolutely we have none. Fight Club on our bus every now and then. Yeah. We, we do. We do. Okay, yeah. I'm glad you brought the bus because <laughs> this is one of my questions I had to ask. Because we are all older, yes. tour life is not the way it was when you were 20 in bus life. So I want to know what's bougie about your bus life. What is, <laughs> what is? hey, I am old and I've done this a long time. So therefore we're going to have what? What's bougie? What's bougie? Uh, probably our bunks. <laughs> oh, do y'all have really <laughs> nice bunks? Nice beds in our bunks. Yeah, nice beds, yeah. We so tried to fight condo, for a little bit. condo bunks or no, three? No, we got 12 people. We bring yeah. our crew on our bus. Yeah. Y'all are one bus? Yeah, because we'll be with the crew. Well we want to keep it all in the family. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah, so front lounge, back lounge, yes. 12 bucks. Yeah. Front, front lounge, Tate and I are in the front lounge yep. usually. I kind of float back and forth. You kind of float like I, you, yes, sure. I'm kind of the hybrid. You know, I try, yeah. to, try yeah. to keep the peace. Hang out with everybody. <laughs> he does, he does, he does. So when you say there's nice beds, you mean you've like put in your own mattresses? No, we had to fight for good mattresses uh, uh, to be put okay. in. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we own the bus. We bought the bus. So I okay. got another one. We, we keep it. We won't let them get old and worn out. Our buses there are super go. nice inside. There you go. Yeah. yeah, because we live on the road, like you, you said. You live there, so it's yeah. very important. It's got YouTube TV, so I can yeah. watch great golf and okay. sports. Yes, <laughs> other sports. What else? Uh, NFL. I'll for watch sure. any. Yeah, NFL. Yeah. We'll watch yeah. NFL. Yeah. So. I mean, are y'all sports. so happy football's back? Yes. <sighs> I, I went to a Franklin High School football game last Friday night, and I was like, here we are. I know. Okay, we're good again. Just the smell of, of the dirt on the field oh. and, 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 the, and the fall weather coming in yes. during those nights. Oh, that my first gosh. Saturday morning when you get to like, you, when you're on the bus, the door opens and it, the cold air it's comes like 68 in. 68 degrees, oh. maybe 65, the crisp air comes in. You got college game day on TV. Nothing better. Oh, yeah. Nothing Dude, better. We're all about it. That's as Good bougie job, as your Annie? bus gets well, is your nice mattresses? No. Okay. So we also have a, Great a tour show. manager okay. who orders us you know, food for as soon as we get sure. off stage. We've yeah. got a nice little oh, yeah, spread going. Yeah. So that's pretty fancy. What kind of, what kind of, I mean, what are we eating? Everything from sushi to pizza. Indian, oh, Indian sushi. food Indian is food. a big Indian staple. Yeah. We like some Indian food. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you own the bus. That's a big difference. Yes. People don't know that I, most of us don't own buses. Exactly. To own the bus means you get to leave your stuff. You get yeah. to. To own a bus means you, 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 you live on the road. Yeah, but you, I don't yeah. recommend owning a bus. Uh, I've done it. Yeah, it's not Adam, yeah. 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 It's, yeah, it's not easy. No. But it is nice for your home being your home. Yes. Um, what's always in the fridge? <laughs> Adam, would you pay a Perrier? But a Perrier is a Perrier. Uh, Perrier, jo- Jody and I like our sparkling water. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. I think it's great. Shut up. <laughs> oh, the official drink of Newsboys is it's Fresca. Fresca. Oh, delicious! <laughs> sure. Wild. That is a it is, wild take. It's it is really good. Nonstop it, Fresca on our yeah, bus. It's really good. Why? That is a, that is gonna. CCM's going to pick that up because that is a wild truth. It's yeah. big. Okay. Yeah. It's big. Okay. That's always in the fridge. Actually, one of our fridges is broken, so it's now become Tate's closet. Oh, no. That's true. Yeah. So it's got shoes doors, and clothes. Yeah. And oh, my gosh. That's Swedish two, fish. Two fridges, though. <laughs> yeah. How? Well, Where's we, the second one? No, now we only have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you a missed closet. what he said. He said Swedish fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the color, the color kind, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different colors, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I just... 
That's awesome. I think bougie bus life is one of my favorite things to ask people about it because it's just you just have to figure out how to do your life out there. Uh, you know what? You know what else is bougie about our bus? We have a shower on our bus. Oh yes, oh, that oh. really works. All it the actually time. works, it's and nice it is too. a lifesaver. Is it yeah. in the middle? It's in. It's towards the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does That's every so does that? Can it? This is me not knowing enough about bus life. Can that work while you're moving? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh so when y'all are done with the show, yeah. all 12 of you can just get on Stinky and work your way through. Well, we, we could. Us, yeah, most of us shower at, at the, well, the, the, the venue. I use the bus as my of us, Those of us who yeah. do shower. Um, uh, right. Well, <laughs> who does that mean? <laughs> no, no, but, why are you getting defensive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you look to be weird. <laughs> Hey. Like, there's 10 other options. Why are you being weird? Yeah. Hey. I've been called the best money man of Christian music. Yeah, hey, times. listen. That's all right. Some, some of us bathe in the shower. Yeah. Some of us do it with Creed. <laughs> it's dark enough, kids. It's dark enough. We're going to have to cut this thing uh, about five minutes ago. We've, we've reached the end. No, no, no. I love it. No. I love it. Usually we do shower either at the venue or yeah. like, a, like a hotel a or something. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a nice clutch thing to have though, yeah. on the bus. Like, yeah. we, if you, or, say, the venue didn't have a shower. and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, or if you're coming home from Houston yeah. and yeah. you want to get on the road. Absolutely. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yep. Um, okay, what do we not say that y'all want to say? Anything we didn't say? Um... No, just stream stream our album, please. Yes, as yeah. many times as you can. Just put it, just put it on repeat as you go to bed in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's exactly right. Yeah. Well, they. I mean, it is just such a. Um, it is an uplifting album that is also very like motivating. Isn't the right word, but driving is the right word. It kind of drove me into my day. Good. And so Good. I think I think it's a great. I, yeah, I really liked it, or I wouldn't have. We would have not done this. So oh, yeah, it, that's, <laughs> I appreciate that. It's not fair to bring people on and be like, "Good to see y'all." Don't love your stuff. Yeah, so, uh, 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 that would not be let's fair. Let's not talk about. Well, y'all are welcome back anytime. Thank y'all for doing oh, this today. So much. I really appreciate it. I say it. once a year at least, Danny. Okay, once. A, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll DM about it. We'll, we'll figure it, it out. <laughs> Oh, you guys, don't you love them? They are the best. Okay, remember, Worldwide Revival. Part one is already out. Part two releases tomorrow. Add them to your playlist. Add them to what you're streaming in the morning, when you're waking up, when you're getting going during your day. And make sure you're following Newsboys on social media. Tell them thank you so much for being on the show. And this is our chance with people like Newsboys, with people like Darlene Check, where we get to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your years of investing in our spiritual lives through your songs. Remember that all these guests we have on have people who chirp at them for things all the time. We get to be the people who bless them with our words. So take time and do that today. If you have any questions from this episode, just drop them in the Q&A box in your Spotify app if you're a Spotify listener, or you can send them to us on Instagram at That Sounds Fun Podcast. Make sure you're following over there. We have lots of good things for you there. If you need anything else from me, you know I'm embarrassingly easy to find. Annie F. Downs on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the places you may need me. That is how you can find me. I think that's it for me today, friends. Go out or stay home. Do something that sounds fun to you, and I will do the same. Today, what sounds fun to me? Oh, it's just fall in New York, you guys. You can't beat it. You cannot beat it. Y'all have a great weekend. I will, too. And we'll see you back here on Monday with Danielle Walker. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Oh, that sounds fun. Check one, two on the microphone. And he have downed in your car to your home. Every week it's all the new. A deep talk or an interview. She'll make you laugh, she'll make you cry. When it's dark out, she's a light.